Wing Commander Andy Green, world's fastest man, flying experience, pilot, 3,000 hours. Kate Gerbo, TV presenter, flying experience, passenger, budget airlines. Today's challenge, aerobatics over the skies of Berkshire. So Andy, what will we be doing today? We're going to go flying in my aeroplane. This is an extra 300, uh, built for unlimited aerobatics. And we're going to go and do some aerobatic manoeuvres to simulate the G profile that I will experience in Bloodhound SSC, getting to 1,000 miles an hour. And how does what we're doing today actually fit into your training for that world record? We can't simulate the G in a straight line because obviously that much G for that much time would actually get me up to 1,000 miles an hour. We haven't built a car that can do that yet. So I'm simulating this by going around in circles, just like a centrifuge does for uh, training a fighter pilot. Andy Green broke the land speed record and went supersonic in 1997 in thrust SSC. His top speed was just over 763 miles per hour. More than 10 years later, and this is his latest model, the Bloodhound SSC, a rocket and jet propelled vehicle that he plans to take from 0 to 1,000 miles per hour in just 45 seconds. And how's this going to make me feel? Well, the negative G will force all the blood up into your head and it will feel uncomfortable. It's like hanging upside down from a tree, but more uncomfortable. That'll last about 25, 30 seconds. At the end of that, we'll go to a positive 3.5 G. Plus 3.5 G will drain the blood from your head to your feet. And if you don't tense up properly at that stage, you may pass out. OK, let's go for it. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to fly over the runway and we're going to do a loop. So it'll be a gentle pull up at about 3G. There is no chance. Woo! <laughs> ah! That's me! We're liking too much! We're rolling upside down, simulating 1G, 20 miles an hour per second. So we're now doing 150, 170, 190 miles an hour. It's over 200 miles an hour. We start to wind the rocket up, opening the valve, getting the flow through the rocket. Starting to get a little bit more negative G, about minus 1.5, start to hurt a little bit. We're accelerating at 50 miles an hour per second, up through 500 miles an hour. How do you feel so far, Kate? Okay? I'm feeling good, thanks! Okay, still accelerating through 750 miles an hour. We're now supersonic, 800, 850. We're approaching the measured mile, the 1,000 miles an hour. It'll take three and a half seconds for the measured mile. I'm going to close the throttle and simulate the deceleration at three and a half G. So brace your stomach, tense your leg, here it comes. Okay, how are you feeling now, Kate? Starting to lose my vision a little bit, it's going a bit grey. Okay, as the G slows down, it backs off. And as it backs off, we're coming down through 600 miles an hour, now putting the G back on, simulating that's the parachute going out, and it'll be a real bang in the car. As the car slows down, the G comes off, and it gets very slow, and I'm now looking ahead, what's the distance to go, um, do I need another parachute, when to put the wheel brakes on so I can stop exactly by the turnaround crew, we can get the car loaded up with a tonne of hydrogen peroxide, half a tonne of fuel, and ready to go again. I might be sick. Okay, just relax as you are. In terms of replicating what you will actually do, how far do we get? Oh, you did all of it. You did very well. Woohoo! <laughs> I was thinking about saying, should we go again? Then you'd probably say yes. How's that, Kate? There was a moment where... There was a moment where I really felt I was going to black out and, and you pulled off just in time, I think. And then I was all queasy when I had time to think about it. It was just the most incredible experience. I'll take it to my grave and oh, <laughs> now I'm making a fool of myself. <laughs> no, you did, you did great. There's a, lot, there's a lot of people who wouldn't even contemplate doing that or would have stopped way really? up. And you got right to the end where you said, actually, can I stop now? That's where we were going to stop anyway. Really? So you did really well at that. Right. Uh, that is a hard profile. It is uncomfortable, so well done. And I think I'll leave the world records to you. <laughs> <laughs>